So this has been trending again in the news this week. Kaya Masters. If you don't know what Kaya Master is, basically they're these martial arts dudes who claim they have this strange mystical power that allows them to knock people out and beat the shit out of them without ever fucking touching them. These fucking morons just going along with it like this dude's really magical or something. And the reason the subject is interesting to me is because how this works is basically the same exact way as how Benny Hinn works. How all these charismatic Christians who make people fall out in the spirit... It's all basically the same shit. I guarantee you if Benny Hinn was here right now, there is a 0% chance he could make me pass out without touching me. It absolutely would not work on me or any skeptical person. All these dudes are absolute, complete con artists and frauds. And the sad thing is, some of these guys teaching this are actually well respected in the martial arts world. Like this guy, George Dillman. He actually taught Muhammad Ali and even fucking Bruce Lee. He's been featured in all kinds of different martial arts magazines, and he's well respected in the martial arts community. Despite the fact that he's a 100 fucking percent complete fraud. Let's have a look. Essentially, he claims to be able to knock anyone out without touching any part of their body by just throwing a giant chi whammy at them. Sometimes it drains me. I can get that way within a second or two if I throw the chi out too fast. Back After seeing so many demonstrations, so many different techniques, so many different moves, you, you can't help but start believing. They're opening up another door in your mind. It's just unbelievable. I know I have chi energy. You can see it with the half moons. My chi is up now because of the filming. So basically this out of shape fat motherfucker pretending like he has magical powers and all these goddamn idiots going along with it. Question is why? Why is this happening? Well, the answer is actually very simple. This shit works exactly the same way as a hypnotist show works. That's all it is. It's a combination of people really wanting to believe, straight out just acting, and also going along with it because of peer pressure, because all the other people around them are going along with it, and they don't want to be the odd man out. And a lot of them have grown up idolizing this dude, seeing him teach Bruce Lee and Muhammad Ali and being in all these martial arts magazines who have built him up to be bigger than life. To a lot of these people, he's their fucking hero. They worship this dude. So it becomes almost like a cult-like atmosphere, where the people will go along and do anything to please their icon. But unsurprisingly, when skeptics actually come in and they test this shit, we find out there's nothing to it. None of these motherfuckers have magical powers. It's all fake bullshit. They're just con men. So this dude, George Dillman, refused to do a test on a skeptic to prove he could actually do it on them because he knows he's a fucking con man. But one of his acolytes, who has been taught specifically by George Dillman to do this, agreed to do this on skeptics. And here's what happened. It didn't work. Okay. Dillman thinks he knows what went wrong and has come up with a very interesting explanation. The skeptic was un- was a, a totally non-believer. Non-believer. Plus, I don't know if I should say that on film, but if the guy had his tongue in the wrong position of the mouth, uh, that can also nullify it. The way you put your tongue in your mouth can nullify my magical powers. Yeah, you can nullify it. You can nullify a lot of things done to you. In fact, you can nullify them if you raise those two big toes. If I say I'm going to knock you out, and you raise one toe and push one toe down, can't knock you out. And then if I go to try again, you reverse it. If you keep doing this, I won't knock you out. Quit switching your toes around, dude. I can't knock you out. Fuck you, dude. You're a shameless con man. Taking advantage of your gullible students who look up to you. We all see right through you. Next up, we have another one of these con men who calls himself the stun gun. Basically the exact same shit. Another shameless fucking con man taking advantage of people. Let's have a look. A seventh degree black belt trained by Grandmaster George Dillman. But Cameron claims to have an even higher power. Being able to knock out an attacker without even touching them using energy to interfere with their nervous system they'll get all kinds of neurological types of effects their body organs can shut off temporarily they will feel like they've been hit by an electric bolt this so-called power led him to be labeled the human sun gun but you ask does it work danielle we headed out to his palos Heights studio to check out his superhero like strengths so we asked tom to try it on someone other than his students like us 
God, you're scared. Relax, I'm not going to hurt you. He refused to try the touchless knockout on me, okay. saying he thought I may get hurt. If you touch this... Instead, he used a light tap technique to affect my nervous system. Wait, you just hit me in the head. We were less That's than stunned okay. by this stun guns demonstration. <laughs> yeah, he can't knock her out without it, so he decides to fucking smack her in the head. And even then, she didn't even almost buckle. Not even a little bit. I'm starting to think you might just be a fat asshole full of shit, dude. But let's give you another chance. Let's see if you can do this against mixed martial artists. So we had Tom try it again on jujitsu students at the Extreme Fitplex yes. downtown. Feel any heat? Feel any lightheadedness at all? Not really. And once again... Yeah, I'm not even feel it. Go move it on you. I got hit in the head a lot. The results were He's less than stunning. He's not gonna go. Tom says only about 40% of people are susceptible to touchless knockouts, and natural athletes are the toughest. They learn to translate this energy so they, they don't get affected by it as much. Oh, that's good to know. Your magic doesn't work on athletes. Also, way to diss your students. Absolutely have no fucking shame, you fat motherfucker. These assholes should be mocked right out of business. Next up, we have the Yellow Bamboo Tribe who claims they have this fucking magical power. They can fucking knock people out and down without even goddamn touching them and shit. Like a bunch of lame-ass LARPers who don't realize they're not fucking really magical. They're out on the beach practicing this shit. And then they get challenged by some skeptics who are like, hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't you stand like 20 yards down the beach and I'll come running at you full blast, which gives you plenty of opportunity to knock me out before I ever get to you. And we'll see what happens. And uh, this is what happened. Yeah, that's why you don't do that. It doesn't work, you idiots. You don't have magical powers. It's all fucking fake. God damn it, you're idiots. And there's another guy getting immediately taken to the ground and choked out. Because that's what happens in reality, motherfuckers. Next up is this dumbass who thinks he has magical powers and can stop this other guy from punching him in the face. And he's like, hey, try to punch me in the face. Bet you can't. <laughs> I bet he can. somebody punch you right in the fucking face. Reality's a bitch, dude. And now that brings us to the guy at the beginning of our video, Master Yanagi Ryukin, who actually got so inflated by the fact that his students kept pretending to be knocked out by his power that he actually started fucking believing this shit himself. So much so that he put out a challenge to anybody to come fight him and he agreed to pay them $5,000 if they could stand up to his magic. So of course some mixed martial arts guy took him up on it. And this is what fucking happened. Ooh. 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 It was approximately this point right here that Master Ryukin realized he done fucked up. He like, holy shit, that dude just punched me right in the fucking face. My magical power didn't stop him or nothing. I think I might have made a supreme error. I don't want to do this anymore, but I'm surrounded by all my students here and I just paid this guy $5,000 to whoop my ass. Let's keep going and see if I can eventually get him with my magic. Nope, sorry old man, you are not fucking magical. Unfortunately for you, no matter how much your students kiss your ass, the laws of reality still exist, even for you. Sorry dude, you let your own hype go to your head. You're just a fucking con man who's now embarrassed and $5,000 poorer. That's a tough lesson to learn. But here's the crazy part. It's not just these Kai masters who get their heads all big and blown up by their students and believe they're real life badasses. This happens to so many of the people that teach martial arts. Their students build them up so much and put them on a pedestal so high that they actually start to believe their own press and believe they're these god men who can do unbelievable things. For example, in China, this mixed martial artist is now in hiding because he put a challenge out to all the big mixed martial arts schools with all the really famous teachers and he said he could kick their fucking ass. And one of the old men of the schools, believing his own hype, took him up on it and this is what happened. So now this poor guy is in hiding because the Chinese are mad at him for displaying the myths of their great martial arts teachers. Because martial arts is such an intricate part of their history and culture 
they feel like it's a part of them. And when somebody comes along and they challenge this idea, when they show that this is just nonsense, it's basically just religious bullshit, it shakes the foundation of their very belief system, which is why this poor dude's career is over now and he has to go into hiding. It's because in a lot of ways, martial arts has become like a cult to these people. They have these gurus and godmen to look up to. And these gurus and godmen are basically nothing more than con men. Just like most preachers, they simply want to bilk gullible people out of their money. We've had things like the UFC and mixed martial arts long enough now to know what works and don't work. We understand now that the vast majority of martial arts taught by these gurus is bullshit. It doesn't fucking work. It's all stupid bullshit like, if they grab your shoulder like this, then you do this. If they grab your wrist like this, then you do this. It's just stupid bullshit that does not translate to the real world whatsoever. In a real fight, no one is going to come up and grab your shoulder and just fucking stand there while you do a goddamn move on them. So for all you guys out there who are taking karate classes or whatever the fuck you're taking, your local strip malls, it's totally cool if you do that. It's a good exercise. But don't believe the hype about your sensei. Some little tiny bitch who's actually trained in mixed martial arts to fight and stuff like the UFC could probably whoop his ass. So nice try, karate nerds, but we're not buying it. We see right through you. We know you're just fucking con men. But please keep this shit up, because to be honest with you, it's really fun to watch con men like you guys get the shit kicked out of you. Seriously. Logic. Fuck yes. Hey guys, if you like my show, please consider supporting it on Patreon. Due to the recent changes on YouTube, I'm trying hard to keep this channel afloat. So if you'd like to not see this channel disappear, please consider clicking on the Patreon link and supporting this channel. Thanks a lot.